today we're going to talk weather because it is a huge part of free riding and whether you're checking for your sunny spot so that you can do your big adventure or you want to fine tune your avalanche forecast seeing the storms coming your way etc there's so much to talk about but today i'm going to present my own way to check it and hopefully you can get inspired So before we begin, it's really important to know that weather systems and tools to check the weather are really different from one valley to the next, from one resort to the next, and even from one country to the next. So today I'm going to present you the way I do it in Verbier because that's where I live. But you might want to take some from it, test it wherever you are and adapt it if needed. So for a 10-day prediction, I usually use uh, YR.NO, it gives you a general idea on like the kind of weather that's coming. You can tap on each day and it will tell you the evolution if it's snow. It's usually pretty accurate and I know I rely on it quite a lot and even if I'm traveling abroad, that's kind of the platform that I use. So I really like to, to know how much snow is coming. So you can see here, there is a lot of snow coming, so it's going to be good. It's also good on that long-term perspective to kind of check the map and see the evolution of it. So it kind of makes you understand which way the system is coming. For five, six days and below that, so one, two, three days, I'll use Meteo Swiss. Like, so that's like the national kind of uh, weather system. They've got a really good app, which tells you an overview of the next few days with all the, the precipitations. So I think that's always really accurate and it really takes into consideration the altitude and the position of Verbier within the rest of the country. Then the animation, I find it really useful. Uh, so that's gonna be like a live animation of all the precipitations, the snow, the wind. You can choose on altitude or at um, uh, ground level. Uh, the cloud cover, which can be also really useful if you don't want to get stuck in the clouds like we are today. And the temperatures as well. If you know uh, a similar one which will work into your country, please feel free to share it so that we can give the most information to everyone. But if you're coming this way to Switzerland, this is the one that works. So first thing is to check the Avalanche Bulletin and read what's happening. It gives you a general overview. And then when you want to get more precise, you check the stability of the snowpack. What I find really important next to the Avalanche Bulletin is that map. So you can have a pretty wide uh, view on, on the whole territory and then you can really zoom in and it will tell you exactly in different locations what aspect, what gradient and above which altitude you need to be careful of. For me, I like when, uh, when I can see a bit in a more visual way uh, the kind of snowpack, the forecast and the depths of snow. So I really like to use the overlays on FabMap and um, you go on live snow and that will tell you the depths of snow there is or the fresh snow or the forecasted snow. So for example here on the forecast you can see the areas that are going to get more snow. One tool I really like uh, is uh, the custom layer on FabMap, which will allow me to cross all the information from the snow forecast built-in, all the uh, aspect, ratio and gradient, and it helped me translate it into a map. So I find that really good because it's really visual. So whenever you want to go and do a mission somewhere, you know more or less the slopes which you should be careful of, so it really helps you to forecast your adventures. So these are a lot of tools and it might feel a little overwhelming, especially if you're going somewhere for a short period of time. So you're gonna get a good overall vision of the weather, but if you wanna be more precise, feel free to ask locals and they're gonna help you to fine tune 
to see what's been happening and what's to come your way. Et voilà, this is my way of checking the weather. It's something which evolves all the time and it, which is not 100% accurate, but I hope that it inspires you to get into it so that you can plan your adventures better, be safer and have more fun into the mountains. <laughs>